Oh, whatever it takes, you know, whether it's being locked up, my life, whatever it is, just to satisfy me so my kids can grow up in a peaceful world. I don't have to put up with a lot of stuff that's going on. This has been one crazy year within itself, you know, and I fear for my kids and my grandkids behind it. What would you give up for world peace? All the luxuries in my life, everything that I don't need to survive, everything I don't need to be happy. If you could give up anything as an American for world peace, what would you give up? I would give up me being able to eat three times a day for someone else to be able to eat and have peace in their heart. Because I sit here every day and I'm not at peace even though I can eat every day. I have somewhere to stay because I'm very upset about the individuals all over the world that do not have food and a place to live. I'm very upset about that. <laughs> I don't know. What would I give up for world peace? Um... Yeah, I'd give up going to Starbucks, I guess, or any, I don't know, I'd give up a lot of things for World Peace, actually. I don't think there's any earthly possession that is uh, more valuable, so anything. You would give up anything? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> would you give up your toys for World Peace? No, toys are too important. What about your favorite TV show? Mm. So everyone can be happy, Joe. I guess maybe I would give up DuckTales. DuckTales. You would give up DuckTales for world peace. That's a big sacrifice. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would gladly give up my vehicle, which transports me to and from the office every day, and consort to things like bicycle riding, walking, anything to create and promote world peace. What would you give up? I'd probably give up the, uh, I'd give up the president. <laughs> and, That's and a the, popular answer. <laughs> and, and the Republic Senate. All right, and the Senate. All right. Do you believe that we can achieve world peace? Whatever the mind can believe, we can achieve. Yes. Well, I think we can. It has to be a collective mindset. We can. We could uh, give it a greed that we could achieve world peace. And you're willing to contribute to that? Yes. I don't know a lot of things. I can't, I can't like, pick one. <laughs> um. Would you give up your favorite outfit? Would you give up going to ballet or some sort my car? But you would give up something. Yeah. Well, my job, I really love doing what I do. So I would give up clean and fish to, to, to world peace. Very passionate about my work. <laughs> if you could give up anything as an American for world peace, what would you give up? I'ma say I'ma say uh, the ability to use my phone. That's why I give up. I say just like the luxuries, like like designer clothes, like expensive shoes, stuff like that, because that's not necessary every day. I mean, I feel like I would give up like the American like capitalist free market. Like, yeah. If that's world peace, I'm like I'm willing to give up that because I know a lot of Americans yeah. are very like I don't know they seem to really like it, but I would totally give that up if it meant world peace. Yeah. Similar answer. <laughs> At an economic level, I would give up a free market. Yeah. <laughs> On a personal level, I'll give up peanut butter, which is saying a lot because I eat lots of it. It's true. You eat like a whole jar a day. Yeah, but um, yeah. Given the state of things right now, I think just about in, just about anything yeah. would be worth that. I mean, worth the trading gold. Yeah, I'd have to agree. For world peace, 
I will give up the president, Trump. That's exactly who I will give up. luxury because what's more important is peace instead of um, everyone fighting over getting money or all all the things that are not important. What would you give up for world peace? Anything not meaningful. Be it a car, you know, uh, sporting events, anything of no value. Yeah. For world peace, I guess I'd give up like my comfort and like, I don't know, just like all those things that make my life easier. So, uh, yeah, my comfort living in a nice house and stuff. Thank you. What would you give up for world peace? Um, for world peace, I would give up... Uh, I would give up... All the excess that I have. Like? Like, uh, I would give up, like, my car or, um, uh, <laughs> my TV, stuff like that. That's a good one. What would you give up for world peace as an American? Uh, that's, that's hard to quantify because that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Uh, <laughs> for me, I'd probably give up my time, my free time. Huh? What uh, would you give up? I'd probably give up uh, my privacy. Yeah. If they knew what I was up to and it could help to keeping like the world safe, then I'd gladly give up my privacy. That's a very good answer. What would you give up? for world peace as an American? Um, probably just like excess materials that I don't need. For example? Um, I don't know, like <laughs> electronics and stuff like that. Uh, my hobbies. Hobbies and senseless things that I do. You know, gambling, stuff like that. Things that that's the nature that I really shouldn't be doing that I do. Those unnecessary things, basically. Um, I would give up all the materialistic things I own, like shoes, clothes, jewelry, things like that. Mm -hmm. Jewelry? Yeah, of course. The world peace? None of this really matters. You can't take it with you. It's just for show. What would you give up? <laughs> president? The current president? I can agree with that. <coughs> I second that. You agree? So, we're willing to give up our current president. All right. Any day. <laughs> what would you give up for world peace? I'm Jeanette Lenoir for E Pluribus America, and this is Our American Culture.